you cool, baby. Keep cool, babies. We have such, such an amazing show tonight. And boy, do we have a lot to discuss up front. Our country has gone insane. <laughs> We've gone completely insane. What was the, the difference in the vote the last time? Just before the show, that we're taping the show at, at 5.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Not real. Um, <laughs> I'm asleep by 8 o'clock at night. It's the difference now is like 340 votes, which is like the size of this studio audience. Uh, that's crazy. These people are, you know, can't be trusted. Uh, it's insane. We still do not know who our president is, but the good news, the president we do have, president we do have, President Clinton, is hard at work. Doesn't that make you feel good? He's hard at work. This is true. Yesterday... Yesterday in Washington, President Clinton met with Yasser Arafat. That's true. All right. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Arafat said he plans on returning to the Middle East as soon as possible because right now things are too chaotic here. <laughs> it's true. That's what he said. He's... Your people are crazy. <laughs> Getting out of here. Uh... One of, the, uh, one of the big issues in the election, of course, concerns Gore supporters in Florida. We all know this story now. Gore supporters in Florida who claimed that they accidentally voted for Pat Buchanan. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Yeah, in fact, some of the older voters were so confused, they thought they were voting for President James Buchanan. <laughs> confused when I voted. I have no pity for those people. All right. Uh, I got scared when I voted. The machine was scary. Uh, I'll get a call from my mother tonight. No, no, no. God bless them all. It was... Uh, this is interesting. It was, re it was reported today that the television ratings on election night were the highest in 40 years. Can you believe that? It's amazing. That's right, yeah, the networks are thrilled. And uh, as a result, they promise to incorrectly call the election from now on. <laughs> it's gonna be the new policy. We're gonna do that. And then, last thing I'll mention, uh, Al Gore's campaign manager is now asking, this is the story as of a couple of hours ago, he's now asking for the ballots in four Florida districts to be counted by hand. That's what they're saying. Yeah, and George W. Bush said, well, that'll never work. What happens when you run out of fingers? I'm confused. I'm... That's all I got with my Bush impression. That's it. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble if it's him. I've got to work. Or maybe that's fine. I'll just stick with that. All right. We have a great, great show this evening. We have, uh, I think this guy's the biggest star in the world from the new movie, Little Nicky, Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler's here. We also have, I think this is the best guy to have on the show on a day like today. He'll explain everything to us. Best-selling author, very funny political commentator, Al Franken. Let's explain what's happening. And musical guest, Badly Drawn Boy. And a performance for you. And then to top it off, Top it off, a special appearance by Triumph, the insult comic book. This is a show. And right over here, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg Center. Max! Come in.